Uh, Jordan Peterson just uploaded a video. I am pro Muslim but anti thug, and in that video he completely butchered his relationships with the Muslims. I believe that Jews, Christians, and Muslims share more in common than in division. Already you can see the word salad he's spewing, no, trying not to offend uh, the Muslim people. But the fact of the matter is he is just spewing nonsense. What he's saying is that we have in common the people of the book. Tell that to the Jews and the Christians like himself who are supporting the massacres and have been supporting the massacres of the Palestinian Muslims for more than for decades now. 3,000 Palestinians killed just recently and that's, you know, not considering the massacres and the occupations and the villages destroyed and the mass rapes and the Nakabas gone, uh, the Palestinian Muslims have suffered through since uh, before even 1948. Drowning in the blood of many Israeli and Palestinian alike. Uh, on the Pierce Morgan show, Bassam Yusuf actually brought statistics. 88 Israelis killed as compared to the Palestinians in the same year. 2,000 Palestinians killed here. Yeah. The proclivity to claim positive virtue or outright victim status while pursuing their utterly self-serving, grandiose and destructive claims. All the while trumpeting their moral virtue and or brandishing their identity as unfairly oppressed innocents. Now, I agree with Jordan Peterson on this point. He is diagnosing Israel perfectly, you know. They are psychopathic, narcissistic uh, homelanders who will portray themselves as the victims trying to defend themselves. Queers for Palestine. Perhaps the most egregious example of the union of the desire by progressives to tear down everything in the West that is worthy, even at the cost of formulating an alliance that would in an instant be suicidal if it ever made itself manifest. Jordan Peterson is saying right now is he is mocking the union between different communities, people from different backgrounds with the Palestinian cause. He's mocking the Islamic laws that we are not willing to bastardize our religion to accept the rainbow community. And this kind of, you know, unity between our communities is uh, basically suicidal for them that, you know, he's basically trying to cause division. Despite not wanting to bastardize our religion, our laws like the bastard Jordan Peterson, people are united after differences for the Palestinian cause, for the Palestinian plight, because they are the oppressed. And no mainstream media or bastards like Jordan Peterson's narratives will take hold anymore. The reason is simple, because of social media. People can see through the lies of the mainstream media now. People can see through the lies of mainstream figures like Jordan Peterson and Ben Shapiro. The one who are truly culpable in this warfare are the Zionists. Those who have occupied Palestine, the securing villages and really cleansing the land. There's no one's going to support them. No one's going to support these uh, bastards' narratives. And if that means that the Palestinians unite everyone reasonable in the world against them, at their great cost. Muslims, ask yourself this. Who in the West has allied themselves with the hypothetical cause of the oppressed Palestinians in the days since the Hamas invasion? University students demented by the... Who else? Marxists, whose hatred for Islam exceeds anything that the most committed, periochal, fundamentalist Christian or Jew might muster. Remind me once more. What is it that's the opiate of the masses, Muslims? What is regarded as the essential and absolute enemy of the communist utopia? Nothing but the very religious practice you share with your Abrahamic brothers. Already you can see the language. He is saying everyone reasonable against the Palestine, hypothetical Palestinian plight. Hypothetically, he doesn't even believe the Nakba. You know, all those massacres and rapes happening in Palestine even before 1948. I again repeat, even before 1948 and since 1948. Hypothetical Palestinian plight. Basically, everyone who's unreasonable is going to support Palestinian plights. That and what of Israel as an oppressor state? Well, the Palestinians who live in Israel proper are certainly a lot better off by any standard than the Palestinians who live in Gaza, despite the fortune that has been sent to that blighted area all of which, for all intents and purposes, has been funneled into the secret and not so secret bank accounts of the dark tetrad religious leaders who parade their lying virtues so successfully. 
Tell me this, honestly, angry Muslims, desirous of genuinely practicing your faith. Do you really think you have anything in common with those who have aligned themselves with you in the West in the past week? Are those the brave and forthright comrades in arm whose support lends credence to the eternal and endlessly manipulable Muslim against Jew story? And tell me again how that alliance is better for your faith and your people than recognition of your Abrahamic commonality with the Christians and present-day descendants of the ancient Hebrews. And tell me too how the decentralized structure of your religion, admirable in so many regards, protects it against capture under situations of duress by the bloody psychopaths who make a faith nothing but a front for criminal evil. The Saudis and the other signees of the Abraham Accords have a stark choice in front of them, as do the distributed and various people of the Islamic world. They and you can allow the thugs particularly those in Iran and Palestine, to triumph in their propagandistic efforts to prop up their own dismal, miserable, and tyrannical states. They and you can, in consequence, scuttle the new peace treaty signed with Israel, forego all the obvious benefits for the Muslim world offered by that agreement, and to acquiesce to continued rule by the cruelest of hypocrites, misusing faith in the worst possible of ways. This really shows that Jordan Peterson is actually a racist. He is an Islamophobe racist. Definitely he, either he's ignorant of history or he is what he is, a racist Islamophobe. The Palestinians were better off in the, uh, under Israeli rule than in Gaza. These are facts that even under Israeli rule, you know, the land that they were given by the British when they were leaving, many villages were ethnically cleansed, massacres and mass refugees. They, it's a whole thing called Nakaba. What is he talking about? The Palestinians were pushed into the Gaza Strip because of, you know, consistent massacres and you know, ethnic cleansing. This eventually pushed the Palestinians into the West Bank and Gaza Strip, which was then blockaded just 60 to 17 years ago. When he says that, that we should just sign the Abrahamic Accords, what those accords are, economic benefits at the cost of the Palestinian plight. Uh, Palestinians will be continue to be uh, ethnically cleansed and massacred and genocided while the Muslim world gets the benef economic benefits from the Western people and no chance, man, no chance. There's just no chance that we ignore the Palestinian plight of our brothers for the sake of uh, dunya. This is what Allah says in the uh, Quran. People of the book will never be satisfied with us until we follow their path. Public display of virtue, including the adoption of high church or mosque or synagogue position, is not any guarantee that the God claimed to be present is in fact there. Turn away from the terrible, tempting path of righteous destruction. Continue the work already begun in uniting the people of the book and thereby bring a productive, generous, wise, and lasting peace to this benighted, but still not yet doomed, and even potentially wonderful green and blue orb. We need a transcendental axis to revolve around, to move us beyond a blinkered materialism, to protect us against a foolish populism, and to lift up our eyes to the eternal heaven beckoning above us. In the West, we have that. We need our Abrahamic faith, lest the hedonistic pagans, and worse, prevail. And we need to stand united behind it. And that is why I'm pro-Muslim, but anti-thug. And if you are a true follower of Allah, that is the decision that is incumbent upon you in equal measure. And that goes as well for the Christians and the Jews. So this proves that he's an atheist. He doesn't believe in any deity. He just believes that God is a transcendental force is uh, uh, the uniting factor between the people of the book. I mean, he doesn't even respect God. He's not a Christian. So what he's talking about, Abraham, I've got to tell that to the Zionists and the Christians who are right now bombing Gaza and have set their eyes on the West, West Bank. Tell that to them. So what he's basically saying in the summary of this video is that he wants Muslims to abandon the tradition and he wants Israel to massacre the Palestinians because he is a racist, Islamophobe and an apartheid supposed supporter and a colonizer. And he wants us to compromise and compromise with our Abrahamic brothers. That's what the moral of the video is. Consider subscribing and liking the video for the algorithm so that more and more people can see this video.